Hey guys! For today's video, I'm going to be answering your guys' questions and I'm also going to be attempting to do some Euphoria makeup. Um, I have one picture or one look that I wanted to try um, and it's this one. Oh god. This one. And that's because one, it looks fairly easy. And two, um, I don't have that many makeup colors, so I'm limited. But I'm going to work with what I've got. So, to start off this makeup look, I'm going to do my skin, my eyebrows, and all that good stuff. Um, and answer your guys' questions all at the same same time. I like to do my concealer first because um I don't know I just like to hide all the pimples before I put on foundation and whatnot so that's what I'm going to be doing now um first I'm going in with my Maybelline fit me concealer in sand and then after I do that I'm going to be going in with this age rewind stick in caramel because when you're trying to hide pimples it's better to use a shade that's either close that either la, 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 that matches your skin or is a little bit darker and since that one is a little darker than I want it to be I'm going to mix it with this lighter one. And now I'm going to take my dirty beauty blender and this is the real technique one, real techniques one and I'm just going to blend it out obviously. Um so to answer a question while I'm doing this um, this like happens in every single video someone asks, or whenever I do this, someone always asks how long Blake and I have been dating, and we've been dating for eight months, no, nine, I'm pretty sure it's nine months. Okay, now all my pimples for the most part are gone. I'm going to be going in, I'm going in with my L'Oreal Infallible Foundation Stick in Sand 405 and yeah, so I'm just gonna wipe this all over my face. I've actually like this is my first time using stick foundation. Well, not like my first time, but like first couple times using it. And I like it way better than liquid because I just think it's easier to apply. And I don't know. I just like that it's in a stick for some reason. But this one seems to be working pretty well for me. And I'm pretty sure they have a good shade range. Okay, next question. Someone asked um, Blake and I's first kiss story, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, I do not remember it. Um, now I'm going in with my Revlon Candid Concealer in Creme Brulee, and it's oil-free, which is good because my skin is hella oily. Um... And then if you put more oil on it, it just seeps into your pores and blocks your skin from being able to breathe. And then you get pimples. So I'm just going to put it under there like so. And probably some of my eyes since I'm doing a fun look today. One question someone asked was, what do you love about being a YouTuber? And I don't know, I like 
being a YouTuber because um, I like to edit the videos a lot and I like getting creative and stuff and I just think like the whole process of it is super fun. Someone else asked tips for high school and when I was a freshman or when I was going to be a freshman I remember like talking to the high schoolers like the seniors that were going to graduate that year and uh, I just remember them saying you know always do your homework always turn it in um like don't procrastinate and that's exactly what I did freshman year was a total flop for me and last year was too if I'm being honest I just don't procrastinate get your shit done and yeah but there's also a balance there like for me personally like if it was really late at night and I still had homework to do I would just not do the homework and sleep instead because um not for me like nothing's worse than sitting in class and literally like trying to keep your eyes open but you literally can't because you're so tired like I hate that and like there's no sense in like ruining another day just because you were behind on homework for me at least like I would much rather just either try to turn it in late or just not um get credit for it because sleep is very important to me for the social part of high school um like there's a lot of drama and just like a lot of like weird things that happen in high school and honestly like it's literally not worth it at all like um if you can't try your best to stay out of drama like it seriously does not matter at all like it's seriously so dumb and like not worth it and i promise you your life will be so much better if you just worry about yourself and like you will find your people in high school you will find your niche 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 whatever you will find your place really just work on yourself and push yourself in high school and your you will think your future self later um my life has been so much better since i just stopped caring about one, what other people thought of me. Two, about everything going on in people's lives, like, whatever. And it's just, like, it's so much better. Trust me. Just always be nice to people. And even if they're not nice to you, still be nice to them. And um, stick up for yourself and stick up for other people. And that is the key to high school is just being that one good person that people can respect and just um look up to like no one is that special that you need to like act a certain way around like everyone's just a person and don't stress don't stress over it so that's all i have to say about high school i know that was like a long tangent thing but yeah Okay, so now that my eyebrows are done, um, I'm gonna go in on the makeup. So I showed you guys what the makeup I was doing before was. Um, someone asked, what is something new you tried doing this year? And something new that I did this year was, well, I started like being more outdoorsy and I started taking care of myself more and like really just focusing on what I need to do to be successful and what I need to do to um just give myself the best kind of life that I can. I started being more active, started eating better, I started um giving myself good self-talk. If you don't know what self-talk is, it's just like that little voice in your head that sometimes can be really mean to you but other times it can be super nice to you so always just when you hear negativity in your head, just say, no, that's not right. I'm a good person. I'm a beautiful person and I love myself. So that is one thing that I've tried doing this year and I've succeeded at it. So I'm really proud to say that. Someone asked if I have any siblings and yes, I have three sisters. 
Um, I have two older sisters who are 10 and 11 years older than me and they are my half sisters so they are my dad's kids and they have a different mom than me and my younger sister do. Me and my younger sister are both from the same parents and she is two years younger than me. Okay, so now I'm going in with my Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon Palette and this literally smells so good. I can't get over it. Oh, I need to set my face. <laughs> yeah. And, um, so I normally have, like, two powders that I like using. This one's the MAC one. It's in medium tan, but it's a little bit too tan for me right now. So, um, I like to use this Too Faced, um, face powder. And it smells so good. So, like, I love using this. <laughs> I don't really know if my face smells like chocolate for the whole day that I wear this, but it smells like so good. I just want to kind of eat it, but I know you're not supposed to do that, so I'm not going to, but like just imagine. So on the inside, it's just sparkles. It's just silver sparkles, and then it gets out to pink. Okay, this actually looks a little bit harder than I thought it would be, so I think that I'm going to start with the pink. And it's gonna be this one. So I'm taking this flat brush and I'm gonna pack this totally fetch color. Oh my god, I love the name of that. I'm gonna pack that color right on the outside of my lid. Now, I'm going to take this fluffy brush right here, this one right here, and I'm just going to blend it, I guess. It's pretty tedious and it kind of hurts, to be honest. I put this in the pencil sharpener to sharpen it because... I don't have like a sharpener for these kinds of things and I think that was not a good idea. Wow, okay, I'm kind of like impressed with myself right now. <laughs> okay. So let's um, zoom. Oh, what? This doesn't look that bad. Like, I kind of like it. <laughs> um, so over, okay, so on Friday, last Friday, um, <sighs> I went to a football game and I saw all of my long lost friends that I haven't seen in a long, long time. And they're like, oh my god, Elena, I watch your videos. And I was like, oh my god, thank you so much. And they're like, but you don't seem like you're yourself in your videos. And I was like, you are so right. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do in this video is kind of um, be a little bit more like myself. But I can't really tell if I'm trying too hard or if I'm not. If I'm just like completely missing the ball like I don't really know like why I act differently on camera I think it's a normal thing to do maybe um but like I know I am a funny person and I would like to portray that in my videos too so I'm not just like some barring human on here that no one watches because I'm boring and I have no personality but like I do have a personality but like I don't know like I just act different when I'm on camera for some reason and I don't like it so I want to change that but I'm not really like sure how to so I'm sorry if um you kind of are just like after you watch the like the video and you're just like okay I I would rather watch paint dry than watch Elena film her videos right now. So, or then watch Elena 
Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. Oh! I'm back. I wonder if I can use this color to kind of set it maybe. But I, you know, I think I'm just trying to do too much. You know, I think that this looks fine the way it is. So now I'm gonna do the other eye. Someone asked me how old I am and I am 17 years old. Um, I will be turning 18 in December on the 8th. So if you guys wanna send me birthday presents or money, you can definitely do that. I will not turn you away. Um, yeah. Another person asked me, what do I study? And currently I study what I'm required to study. Classes that I'm taking this year are marketing, personal finance, Spanish three. I really love Spanish. Um, and I'm really good at it for some reason. Um, I didn't take Spanish my freshman year, so that's why I'm only on the third one. But I want to study another, like, Spanish in college because I love Spanish and I think it's very beautiful. Or, muy bonita. Hmm. Oh, someone said, are you and Blake hoping to get married and have children one day? And, um... Like, I'm 17 years old, so I don't, I am not thinking about marriage or children or anything. I'm only thinking about myself. Someone said, was your mom upset about you leaving? Did she think it was for Blake? What about your dad? So, yeah, my mom was very upset that I was leaving and, um, so was my other parts of my family that lived down there. And at first she thought it was because of Blake, but like we talked about it and I explained to her that no mom, it's not because of Blake. Obviously it is a perk of moving back to my hometown. Um, and then for my dad, at first he was like, no, you're not moving here. There is nothing for you here. You need to be out doing bigger and better things. But then he was like, okay, I get it. It's one year. Not a big deal. You can come live with me. And I was like, oh my god. Thanks, dad. And now I'm here. Someone said, where am I living right now? And I am living... Someone said, are you and Blake going to move in together? Please answer. And, uh, you know, if we stay together long enough, then I don't see you or not. Oh, here's the question that I was looking for. What do you want to do after high school? And I want to go into fashion, specifically fashion design. Um... Ever since I was a little tyke, I've always loved fashion. Um, I used to make clothes for my Barbie dolls and I would cut their hair and um, make them look a little bit more avant-garde, if you will. Um, and I've always been pretty creative and I've always loved clothes so much. Um, it's kind of bad because whenever I'm sad or something, I'm just like, oh, let's just go shopping and I'll be fine. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going into fashion and I'm super excited. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say about that. I think I'll be very good at it. I'm just kind of worried about the, um money aspect of it but you know I've got my whole life to experiment and figure out what I want to do so I'm not too worried about it and I would rather do something that makes me happy and that I love to do than something that makes me hate my life and never want to work you know and 
I used to just be like, oh my god, I want to be an anesthesiologist, I want to be a dentist, I want to make the most money in the world, but I'm just like, and there's nothing wrong with those professions, like, I would rather have someone that loves anesthesia put me under than someone who's in there just for the money, um, because I want to wake up. Um, another person said, were you friends with Blake's ex? And, uh, like, we hung, we were, like, we never hung out one-on-one, -on -one, but we have mutual friends, and we've been in the same place before hanging out with our mutual friends, um, but I was never really, like, close with her. Someone said, have you looked at any colleges yet? And, yes, um, they weren't, yeah, kind of, um, a few contenders would be um, Mass Art, which is in Manhattan, and then there's FIT, which is also in Manhattan, and that is Fashion Institute of Technology, and then there is, like, I've looked at um, University of Michigan's art school, um, and then just, like, backup colleges if I don't get into the ones that I want to get into. Alright guys, so that is the end of today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. I had a lot of fun making this look and if you want to see more Euphoria inspired um, makeup looks then just comment that down below. Also, if you want to see something different or whatever, comment that down below as well. Um, Thank you so much for watching. Um, I love you guys and I hope you have a great day. Bye!